Hello everyone, welcome to the wireless sensor network practical series. So today we'll be doing the practical based on uh, routers. So first we will take some routers. We will create a topology. So I'm taking just a uh, few routers. So these are the four. We'll take one more router. We we'll place. We we'll take five, four routers. Now connect these routers using the suitable connections. So use this particular. So use fast Ethernet 00, 0 with fast Ethernet 00, 0 of the second one. Then uh, connect the fast Ethernet 0, 01 with fast Ethernet 0, 01 of router 2. You must remember what we are connecting. And uh, the third router number 2 with router number 3, fast Ethernet 00, 0 with fast Ethernet 00. 0. Okay. And then uh, we will add one serial interface to this particular router. So we do this by first of all turning off the router we need to turn off the router you can see we will just zoom it okay. and this is green so we will turn it off without turning off we cannot add any interface we want to add a serial interface so now we just drag and click over here and this is place now we have to turn on the router before com coming out then again we do the same thing in the this particular router we turn it off we have turn it off and then add the serial interface okay. now we uh, connect the serial wire this is the serial wire here so we connect this serial 1010 with 010 of this and then now we need to uh, add the pa uh, IP addresses so we will follow this particular IP address as you can see the one which are written in red they are network address and the one in black they are the interface addresses so we'll put this address we will just uh, configure this address so we configure the routers using the addresses first we come to this particular router as you know we have connected the interface as 00, zero. so this 00, zero. we turn it on first and then the address is 192.168.1.1 And then, because there is only one interface connected, so we now come to this router number one. Now there are three interfaces here. We have to need, we, we have to configure a zero zero. Okay. So as we turn on, we can see this is green, it become green. So one ninety two dot one six eight dot one dot two. So this is then uh, fast Ethernet zero one. Now this is this particular interface. The IP address you can check it 192.168.2.1. So this is the second interface. And the third is the serial interface which is 010. So we turn it on. The IP address is 192.168.4.1. 4.1. So this is the third interface. Now this auto is configured for the IP addresses we turn it on okay then we come to router number two there are two interfaces which are need to be configured zero one is with the left router so first we come to zero one okay we turn it on as we turn it on this will become green okay so now the ip address is 192.168.2.2 for this particular interface And there is one more interface 00 which is connected to the right router at the right our right side so this is actually 192.168.3.1.3.1 so this is the IP address okay now next is the router number 3 and uh, 0, 0, 0 interface we have to configure 192.168.3.2 so we come to this so configure Fast Ethernet 0, we turn it on. As we turn it on, it will be, it will be green. So it is 192.168.3.2. Now we come to the router number 4. So there is only one interface, that is the serial interface. So serial 010, we turn it on. As we turn it on, it becomes green because that was already turned on. So 192.168.4.2 is the IP address. Now uh, this uh, configuration is done. Okay. Now we need to set the routing path. Okay. Now for routing path, what we do is uh, 
we use the RIP protocol. Okay. We need to set the RIP. So we come to the first router. There is we need to add the uh, network address. So this network address 192.168.1.0. We add this. Then in the second case, there are three networks actually. So we need to add the network address of all the three networks. So 192.168.1.0. 192.160.2.0 and finally 4.0 okay, because this one is actually 4.0 which is the serial one okay. now we come to the router number 2 it is connected to two networks so 192.168.2.0 and 3.0 so this is 192.168.3.0 we add this and finally we come to the last router we just need to add only one network which is actually 192.168.3.0 so now this is done okay the routing path is set now we can check for uh, we go to the router 1 go into the command cli mode okay of router 1 we need to see the routing path okay So we to check the routing path we select router 1 and we type the following command in the CLI mode so I just click on router 1 okay and come to the CLI mode okay and you can see we have to exit from this particular mode okay we have to come in only router now what we do is type the show IP route okay when we type this show IP route it will show the routing table we can say so it is you can see this is the routing information which we are interested and we, we have done this practical for this thing okay so we can see it is uh, this particular uh, router okay we'll just see the diagram and confirm this information which we have got as the output in the form of output you can see the first network is directly connected 0 0 with the, you can see the marking is done okay and the second one is connected to the right side that is the network which is it is directly connected to and the then the one which we are marking now this one is directly connected it some route okay so as you can see we mark with a yellow line and that is the router is the path, the path through which the network is going we are getting the network so thanks for watching